Hey guys, it's Jackson here with Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic sprinting functionality for your character, uh, as well as how to set it up um, to be connected to a stamina bar. So um, this is a two-part video um, where this first part I'm going to be showing you how to just kind of get everything up and running, and then in part two I'm going to show you how to uh, address some of the issues that are going to come up. Uh, so with that, let's get started. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is open up your character blueprint and you'll see I already have some stuff in here because uh, I'm continuing off of my previous tutorials but again this will this will work with pretty much any character that you have so uh, find some open space and basically what we're gonna want is we want some kind of event to be fired uh, whenever you press a certain key so how we're gonna do this we're gonna go to edit project settings and under input we're gonna add an action mapping so you can click the little plus button and then click the drop down to see it so we're going to call this sprint and basically how this is going to work is it's going to bind a key press or a key value as it says to um, to this sprint event so whenever we press it it will call sprint so for this I'm going to choose left shift um, you can choose whatever key you want really for the sprinting um, but with computer games it seems that you know left left shift is pretty commonly used for uh, sprinting um, so next I'm going to also set this up for controller support so I'm going to choose left thumbstick button uh, because um, you know with a controller the left analog stick when you press it down that's usually what people use to um, you know have your character sprint uh, but again you can use whatever works for you so we're good to go there we can exit out of project settings and back in our event graph we're going to right click type in sprint and create the the event so um, so now we've got that we what we want to do is off of pressed we want to say increase um, our player speed and then off of released we want to set our speed back to our default you know kind of running value or running speed so to do this we're going to take uh, character movement drag it off drop it in the graph and from here we're going to say set max walk speed oops there we go so off of pressed, we can connect that, and then we're going to do the same thing off of released. So with this selected, you can say, or you can do Control W to duplicate, and just connect everything up. All right. So now we need to decide what speeds we want to set uh, these values to. So to get our character's default speed, um, we want to click Character Movement, and in the Details panel under Walking, you can find the variable here, Max Walk Speed, which is currently 600. So that's going to be what we use for our um, our default kind of jogging speed. Um, you know, yours could be something different. Just you know, play around, find what works for you. So now for pressed, we're going to want to set uh, the running the sprinting speed to something higher. Um, to really you know make this uh, visible to you guys, I'm going to set this to something really high, like 3,000. Um, you'll probably want to set it to something lower, but again, play around, see what works for you. Uh, so really that's it for the basics um, if I press play now you know I can I can jog and now if I hold shift I'm sprinting really fast you know I can get to the end of this really quick you know zoom by super fast and then when I release it goes back to jogging so sprint jog sprint jog so uh, we can see it's already kinda working um, so that's really nice uh, but now if you want to add a stamina bar uh, it's a little it's a little more complicated so um, if that interests you, then keep watching. So I'm going to create a little space now. And what I'm going to do is, uh, well, first we need to add a couple variables um, to represent our stamina. So I'm going to add a new variable and say current stamina. Uh, you could call this you know, current energy too. It works just equally as well. Um, and make sure you change the float to, or change the variable type to float. Um, add another one called max stamina. We're going to add one more called uh, stamina rate. So what these are each going to represent, um, make sure you compile. What each of these are going to represent is, well, current stamina is going to be the character's current stamina. Uh, max stamina is going to be the maximum amount of stamina that the character can ever have. And then stamina rate is going to be the rate at which um, we increase or decrease our stamina. Um, you could create, you know, two separate 
uh, rates, one for you know the decreasing and one for the increasing, uh, but I'm going to use the same one for both. All right. So now the way we're going to do this is we're going to use something called a timer. Um, so I'm going to say set timer by event. And basically what this is going to do is every so often it's going to call this event um, and with that event we are going to decrease our stamina. Um, so how we're going to do this, I'm going to uh, drag off of event, type custom event. I'm going to call this decrease stamina. Staz, stasmina, that's a, that's a good name. Stamina. All right, so now we want to you know, define a time, um, like how often it's going to be called. So I'm going to say 0 0.05, and I'll explain why in a second. And we also want to set this to looping. Um, otherwise, it will only fire once. So we want to you know, make sure it continually loops over and over. Um, OK, so for this event, what we want to do is we want to get our current stamina. And we want to you know, well decrease it. So subtract float by float. And the number we're going to subtract by is our stamina rate. So I'm going to drag that up, just position a little better. And now we want to take the, re uh, the result of this and say set current stamina. And so this is going to you know, just basically subtract uh, the stamina rate every you know, 0 0.05 st seconds and then set the current stamina. So um, what, uh, basically this is calling 20, t this event is being fired 20 times um, every second. So that means the stamina rate, or the stamina is going to go down 20, um, well, 20 points, I guess, uh, every second. So now the reason I'm choosing you know, a really low value for the stamina rate, um, oh, we have to define them. Let's do that really quick. For current stamina, let's set it to 100 for the default value. For max stamina, set it to 100. And for the stamina rate, I'm going to set it to 1. Now, as I was just saying before, um, this is going to subtract 20 stamina per second, basically. Um, and now the reason I'm, you know, choosing to have it fire, you know, really quickly, um, and only subtracting a little bit at a time versus, you know, firing, you know, one second and then choosing subtract like 10 or 20, uh, is because it's going to be a lot smoother uh, on the actual stamina bar if you do it in smaller increments. Um, so yeah, that's the reason behind it. So next, off of this, we want to do a branch because we want to, well, we need some kind of condition to say um, we've run out of stamina, so we don't want to be able to sprint anymore. So how we're going to do this, we're going to drag, drag off the value and say less than or equal to zero. So if that's true, well, then we're going to um, do some functionality to stop the player from running, which I'll show in the next video. Um, but we also want to stop this timer, so I'll show that here. So we want to take this return value, we want to drag off, and say clear and invalidate timer by handle. Now by default, it's going to make a little link here, um, but we don't want that. So hold Alt and just click, and that will break the link. So now connect up true, and we are good to go for our decrease stamina function, or event, I guess. So now we want to do the basically the same thing except for increasing stamina. So I'm going to click this, say control, oops, click it, control W to duplicate, connect this up. So now whenever we release the sprint key, we're going to start increasing our stamina. So drag off of event, say custom event, we'll call this increase stamina. So like I said, we're going to basically do just the opposite. So get our current stamina, and this time say plus. So float plus float, and we're going to add stamina rate. All right, and then we want to take this value again and say set current stamina. And there we go. So now the only difference here is we need to change what our condition is. So for this, we are going to see um, if our current stamina is greater than or equal to the max stamina, because if it is, then we want to stop. Um, we want to stop adding uh, more stamina. So we'll do a branch, hook up the condition. Oops. There we go. And then just like up here, we want to clear and invalidate this timer. 
So we'll drag off and say clear. And then again, break this link and connect true to it. All right, so that's there's our increased stamina um, function. So I'm going to compile and save. And now we're going to go and make the actual um, the actual stamina bar. So sorry, I'm just checking time. Um, all right. So in our content browser, we want to right click and scroll down to user interface and choose widget blueprint. Now we're going to call this stamina HUD because this is going to be our stamina. So open it up. And this isn't a lesson on you know UI design at all, so I'm just going to take a single progress bar, drag it and drop it, um, you know, and just adjust it its size so you can see it. All right. So now what we're going to need to do here is well, first I'm going to rename it to stamina uh, bar. Um, and what we need to do is under percent here, we need to create a binding which will um, fill the percent for us. So create binding and it'll create this uh, function for you called get stamina bar percent um, and just drag this out and what we need now is we need to get a reference to our character so that we can get the the current stamina and max stamina um, values from it so in our stamina HUD um, we want to go to the event graph delete this tick now for event co construct we want to cast to um, our character now for object, we need to say get player character. Uh, all right, because without that, it the cast will fail. So um, now, as my player character, we want to right click and say promote to variable, and we will call this uh, character reference um, because well, basically that's what it is. It's just creating a little reference variable for us so that we can use it in other places of the graph. So go back to our get stamina bar percentage and. Um, we're going to drag in the character reference, say get, and we're going to drag out current and uh, do get current stamina. Now, one thing we need to do here is actually convert this to a um, a zero to one value because percentage is you know from zero to one. So we so to do that we also need to drag out say get max stamina, and we need to divide the current stamina by the max stamina. So just do a quick float divided by float hook this up, connect it, and we should be good to go. Alright, so compile and save. Now one last thing we need to do is go back to my character and in the event graph, right click, type event begin play, and from here we want to create a widget. So what this is going to do is when um, the game begins, we're going to you know add our stamina HUD to the screen. So we need to click the drop down, find stamina HUD um, from return value, add to viewport. And that should do it. So I'm going to compile and save. And if I press play, you can see there's the stamina bar in the top left. And if I start sprinting, it goes down. And when I get to zero, right, so I'm still sprinting. Now we're going to have to address this, you know, make the character stop sprinting. But basically, if I release, now it'll start going up. Um, the only problem now is uh, if you are sprinting and you release midway, um, both of the timers are going. They're trying to decrease and regenerate at the same time, so we'll also have to fix that. Um, so, but basically that's the basics, um, and uh, come back for part two, and we will fix up those, those uh, issues. So, thank you.